Welcome back to the kitchen and today we are going to make a key lime cheesecake. So this is my secret ingredient today. It is key lime juice and if anyone's ever used this before you'll know that it is a completely different flavor than lemon juice or regular lime juice. This key lime juice is so good. I've used this before in my grape jelly recipe which I'll link over in the corner here and it's like the most unique grape jelly I've ever had in my life. So I've made the key lime pie recipe on the back, which is really, really good. Well, today, through a series of experiments, I'm going to show you the best key lime cheesecake in the Instapot you'll ever have. It's so good. Um, you got to try this. First thing we're going to do is make our graham cracker crust. I'm going to use some honey-made graham crackers. I'm going to use one package. There's about eight of them in there. And I'm going to crush that up real quick. There we have it. We'll pour the graham crackers into the bowl with two teaspoons of brown sugar, one pinch of salt, and four tablespoons of melted butter. We'll give that a little mix. That gives us a nice consistency of almost not quite wet sand, but slightly clumpable sand. Now I have a six and a half by three inch springform pan. I'm going to remove the bottom and just fold a piece of parchment paper around the edge and replace that back into the springform pan. Just push that down nice and neat. Now I'm going to give it a spray with Pam. And then I'll take the graham cracker crust and pour that into the bottom. Just spread that around. I'll take my little container here and give that a press. Now I'll just place that in the freezer for a bit while I mix up the rest of the cheesecake. First up we're going to add 16 ounces of cream cheese. I just microwaved that for one minute out of the fridge so that's going to be easy to mix. You're going to want one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. One fourth a cup of sugar one pinch of salt, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two eggs, half of a lime zested, and a half a cup of Key West lime juice, two tablespoons of white flour. Now I'm going to mix that up. There we have it. Okay, now I pulled the springform pan out of the freezer with the graham cracker crust in it. So now I'll pour my key lime cheesecake batter into the pan. Okay, let that set there. Okay, now I've got my springform pan on my trivet. And the first thing we need to do to the Instapot here is put in one cup of water. Now I'll take my springform pan with the cheesecake in it and I'll lower that into the Instapot. Put the lid on. Put the seal in lock position. Now let's come down here and program this together. I'm going to hit the pressure cook button. Keep warm off. Timer is going to go down to 40 minutes. and it is on high pressure. So as soon as that heats up, it's gonna steam the key lime cheesecake for 40 minutes. Now it's on. There we have it, it's all warmed up now. It's gonna steam for 40 minutes. Okay, 40 minutes has passed, and now we're gonna let that sit for 30 minutes before we break the seal on top. Let's blow the seal here, because it's been a 30 minute rest. And there's no more pressure in there. I'll pop that off. And then I'll take my trivet and lift that up and out. Now there's a little bit of moisture on here, so I'm just going to dip a paper towel in here and siphon that off real quick. I prefer this method. I don't really want to use up tin foil when I make a cheesecake. I like how it cooks better when you leave it open and then just blot it like that. It's very easy, no big deal. 
Nummy num nums. All right, now that I blotted the water off and it is all set and cooked, so now I'm gonna put it in the fridge and now I'm gonna repeat the rules with refrigerating Instant Pot cheesecakes. It's like good, better, best. Good is four hours in the fridge. Better is eight hours in the fridge. Best is overnight in the fridge. Now we gotta make some whipped cream. We got two cups of heavy whipping cream. and six tablespoons of sugar. Now we're gonna use the zip stick. Whipped cream's done. All right, now it's the next day. Key lime pie, completely set overnight. I'll just take the trivet and put that aside. Take your coffee cup and Push that right out. Look at that. Now what I'll do is take my spatula and press that between the graham cracker crust and the parchment paper. And we'll slide that right off onto the plate. Now I'll put a dollop of whipped cream on top. Nice little lime slice. And there we have it. All right, now we'll give it a nice slice. Cut into that. Look at that. Mm, that looks delicious. Looks like nummy num nums. Okay. Taste test time. But first, I'm going to put some whipped cream on mine. This is delicious. So good. Now it's my turn to taste test. Mm. This is insane. It is so good. Oh, and one more thing I should tell you. The recipe is good by itself. The homemade whipped cream is sweet and it makes it even more delicious. And like the pumpkin cheesecake that we made in our last video, the sweetness of the pumpkin cheesecake was good, but the addition of the whipped cream made it the perfect flavor. So I recommend homemade whipped cream on top of the key lime cheesecake also. And uh, here's my taste test. Here goes. Mmm. Now that is the perfect key lime cheesecake. Thanks for watching Twin Cities Adventures. Out.